long bike race. 10,000 cyclists are going to uh, converge on the road between Sydney and Wollongong this Sunday. It's the 31st annual ride, and they're going to raise $4.5 million, apparently, for people living with multiple sclerosis. And we have on the line someone who's going to be racing this year, Damien Young. Hi, Damien. Hi, Dom. How are you? Very, very well, thank you. And uh, I understand this is your first uh, Sydney to the Gong bike ride. Fourth. 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 Sorry, sorry, I'm misreading. Uh, but you, you have had the condition yourself. Yeah, I was uh, diagnosed in 2008. And uh, for those who aren't familiar with multiple sclerosis, can you explain a little bit about uh, how it affects people? Uh, yeah, basically it, it's uh, a disease of the central nervous system and it's something where your autoimmune system basically attacks the central nervous system. Uh, can lead from anything, lead to anything from fatigue to uh, muscle aches and pains, spasms, um, loss of vision, cognitive issues. Um, yeah, lots of muscle control and all sorts of things. And uh, it's it's pretty debilitating, isn't it, to have to deal it with? It can be, yeah, yeah. But uh, there have been some breakthroughs in terms of treatment, I understand, Damien. Yeah, that's right. Um, when I was diagnosed, I was put on uh, one of the standard medications and I had some issues uh, for the next 18 months or so. And after that, I was offered the opportunity to go on to a drug trial. And I, I did that. And um, since that, I haven't had a single relapse. Uh, and a relapse is when you have a, a sudden onset of symptoms. And those can last anywhere from three weeks to three months. And uh, yeah, since going on that trial, I thought I'd, I'd get out there and do something and, and raise some funds and a, a bit of awareness. And um, started up a team in 2009, and we've been riding since then. That's really great. And uh, you're doing part of the course, is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Um, of the 10,000, about 10% of us will start from Engadine in the Sutherland Shire. So uh, it's a 58-kilometre ride. Uh, so it's not long there along the highway and then into the National Park. And it's quite a nice scenic ride, actually. Yeah, look, it's, a, it's lovely down there, the National Park, the Royal National Park. And uh, you go along that famous uh, bridge, don't you? The Sea Cliff Bridge? That's right, yeah. Um, which, believe it or not, is actually a steady uphill climb. Really? It doesn't look like it, but it's um, not as pleasant as it could be. Yeah, that's that, that's that amazing road uh, kind of along uh, the, kind of the coal area just before you get to Wollongong. It, it, it goes a long way off, off the shore and sort of in a big loop and then comes back. And... Uh, how have you been preparing for it? Um, I've been training for the last six weeks or so. Um, each year it, it actually almost gets easier because uh, I think I'm quite used to doing it for the past three, few years. And uh, yeah, just trying to get on the bike as often as possible and getting some long rides in where I can. And uh, yeah, most of the guys on the team have been doing the same thing. We meet up for training rides around the place. So you, people might have noticed more cyclists than usual on the roads lately. And I think a lot of those people have been training. You notice the... Um, Gong ride jerseys out there with the MS logos on them. Yes, I, I've been seeing them on the roads, absolutely. Damien Young is with us. He is uh, participating in the Sydney to, to the Gong bike ride on Sunday and doing a 58 kilometre ride from e Engadine down to Wollongong. And the, uh, the, the other people are doing it from Sydney Park in St Peter's. Now, uh, what do you do to prepare for such a long race? Do you, do you gradually increase the number of kilometres? And, and how long does it take to get there? Uh, yeah, just gradually increase the number of kilometres. Um, I mean, a 30k ride feels like nothing these days, so um, 30, 40, 50k's is a sort of par for the course with our training rides lately. Um, and, yeah, sorry, oh, what was the other question? Oh, just the, the amount of time it takes to get there. Uh, well, for us from Ingerdine, the actual riding time has been about two and a half hours or thereabouts. So, um, yeah, averaging a bit over 20 kilometres an hour, which is... Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good pace. Yeah, yeah, there are breaks along the way every 10 kilometres or so. Uh, they have rest stops set up and uh, food and water and that sort of thing, so everyone can pull over and have a look at the views along the way, which are pretty incredible. And, um, yeah, recharge a little bit and get back on the bike. Well, look, all the best with it. And it, it really is encouraging to hear that, in, in your case, some of, the, uh, some of the medical breakthroughs that have been made have actually allowed you to participate because you've been able to get access to, to better medication. Yeah. yeah it's... Um, something I'm very grateful for. Absolutely, and uh, let's hope lots and lots of money is uh, raised. If people want to get involved, it's uh, gongride.org.au, I understand, and uh, I, I, $4.5 million is the target. Let's hope they exceed it, Damien.
Yeah, I hope so too. We're and pushing hard for it. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. Thanks a lot, Tom. Damien Young there, he's part of the Sydney to the Gong bike ride, the 31st instalment thereof. And uh, MS affects 20, more than 23,000 Australians, so a very, very good cause. Once again, gongride.org.au is the address if you would like to donate. We're still doing your guide to the weekend. Any more suggestions?